Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to do Ipsy Bag. I know there's probably a million of these videos out already and this is gonna be for the November month. I have a headache so if I'm a little off, that's probably why. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I have actually done a sneak peek of what's in here. I can't remember all of it. Um, so it's kind of going to be like a surprise. So if you're interested to seeing what I got in my November Ipsy bag, stick around. Okay, so most people already know what Ipsy bag is. If you don't, it is a $10 a month um, monthly makeup and beauty subscription. You fill out your little profile and tell them what you like, you don't like, um, colors, brands, and stuff like that, and they will curate um, a little bag with five sample products. Sometimes, like if you get like a makeup brush, obviously it's like a full size product, um, and they tend to have like a different theme each month. Uh, I'm not sure what the theme is this month, but this here is the bag. It's a um, a purple, almost navy blue with black hearts, and it has a gold zipper, and it just says Ipsy on it. It's actually really cute. So I'm happy about that, and it's like a leather feeling. So, all right, what did we get? All right, first thing is, what is this? Catherine Natural Cosmetics Eyeliner in Royal Plum. And this is not the first time that I received um, a purple eyeliner, but I do appreciate that they don't just send black all the time because black can get boring and I actually do, and do. I actually do enjoy um, colored pencils. I have some from NYX, some reds, and I think blue, green, and purple. So let's see how this looks. Mm, it's not super purple. Um, and it's a little bit stiff. I'm not sure how that's gonna actually work, um, but I'm going to try it out. So, all right, next thing. Oh, let's get the little paper here. What is this? Hmm, I guess Friendsgiving is the theme? I don't know. I don't know. All right, next thing is a blush by Lottie London. I've never tried anything from Lottie London before, but I do hear some decent things about it and this is the shade Zach and this is the pan size which is actually a um, fairly decent size pan and it's just like a let's see some mauve -y. I actually really like it let's see it's creamy let's see. that's really pretty hmm it's big find me a brush here All right, and I don't have a mirror in front of me, so. Hmm, what do y'all think? This makeup's old. I put it on this morning and I've just been hanging out, went to Walmart. I think it's pretty. It doesn't look so great with my crappy makeup going on right now, but I will definitely use it. And I almost like hardly ever buy blushes I get them in like the free birthday thing with like Sephora or Ulta or you know some cheap or this see now I won't have to buy a blush for like another 10 years all right next thing in here is Josie Marin argon oil I have never tried anything from Josie Marin either but I have been following her products for a while because they sell on QVC and I swear that Josie Marin has like the most beautiful glowing skin and I've always wanted her skin and I had been wanting to try her uh, whipped body butter and but I'm just so cheap and I just can't bring myself to spend the money but um, I wonder what Sitsy, what do you use this for? I'm guessing it's just a facial oil. Let's see. Use it to moisturize and beautify your hair. Hair, face, and, and nails, naturally. Use it by hydrating facial moisturizer to treat split ends or condition cuticles. So it's a multi-purpose oil, and I will definitely use it. I'm probably gonna use it as like 
uh, nighttime kind of serum thing and just put it on my face. So, and the bottle is, oh my goodness, I can't even see. 0.15 fluid ounces. And I just have the little dropper like that. I think I just wasted a drop. Put it on my cuticles. I have dry cuticles, so maybe I'll use it for that too. All right, so we have two more items. And the next one is by Helios. Oh my gosh, what did my voice do? Helios Beauty Eyeshadow Cream to Powder Eyeshadow. I've never tried a cream to powder. Let's see, and what shade is this? Pinkies up. This is the packaging. You see it? Really pretty. All right, come on. <gasps> I literally just like rip my nail. Let's come on out, you. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna destroy the box because I'm not feeling it. All right. So super cute. Pinkies up. And it is 0 0.053 ounces. Screw top. That's a pretty color. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. What did it say? Cream to powder? I don't know. It feels creamy. I mean, it just feels like a really smooth. Let's see. That was one layer. Here's another. That's pretty. I don't know if it's going to go with my skin tone. Like, I tend to go with more goldish colors because I do have more of an olive -y skin tone. Um, but I'm definitely going to try it. I will use it. All right, and this last item I'm super excited about because I have never tried anything from this brand either. And this has got to be a full-size product. And look at that. Huda Beauty. It's a lip strobe in the shade Fearless. So I am so excited. I've never tried anything from her and I am just so cheap. I would never buy it on my own. So here's the packaging. It's really pretty. And let's see this shade. Oh my gosh, it looks like a purple. But is it? Hold on a second. Is it a lip gloss? I don't know. It is a lip gloss. I'm kind of bummed out because I actually don't like lip gloss. But, oh, you know what? Let's, let's just try it on. We'll see if it's sticky or not. That's the thing I hate about lip gloss is if it gets sticky then your hair is always stuck to your lips. And then obviously the transfer, Dustin hates that. And then you have to reapply. So let's. All right. Man, I wish I had another mirror right here. I'll just grab this one. All right, let's see how this looks. Ooh, I don't know. <gasps> oh, goodness. It's actually not sticky at all. It's actually, it feels really nice. Uh, and that's the, the one, the doe foot. It's actually really nice. And it feels good. It's not like overly sticky, but obviously my hair is probably still going to get stuck to it. I'm not sure if that's the shade for me. Maybe on top of like um, a liquid lipstick that's maybe a little bit drying, just to kind of just throw this on and give it some a little extra color and shimmer. But I don't think I will be wearing this by itself. And I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of bummed. I wish it was like a liquid lipstick, like a matte or a satin or something like that. Um, but that is it for my November Ipsy bag. Um, if you get Ipsy, let me know down below what you got in your Ipsy bag. And um, if you've tried any of these products before, um, do you like them or not? And yeah, that's about it. I hope you all have a fantastic day. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Those things all 
help my small little channel grow and I appreciate all of your support and uh, hanging out with me. And so until next time, bye-bye.